All right, folks. Now, Ransom, he's already died off the side of the road. Kitty here, she's almost dying. Almost. But almost, right? So now we're going to show you their mice and their keyboard stuff. So, Kitty, just real quick, give us a glance over some of the new stuff you guys are doing this year. Sure. Um, so, these are actually our Sephira mouse. Our Sephira mouses. Actually, there's a lot of them. So, this is actually a mouse that we have released already, but we are offering a lot more new colors and a different finish. Our original Sephira mouse was a black matte. So, right now, we're offering it in the red, combat green, white, yellow, camouflage, orange, blue. We've got a lot of new colors. Um, and it's also with the new gloss finish. So, there's not anything really new with the features itself, but, you know, this is a really popular mouse, and we only had one color. So, this is kind of Very about. Yeah, yeah. So we're trying to expand on that and give people more options on one of their favorite mouses. Right, and what's down here? The the Galaroo. The Galaroo the Galaroo is actually our mouse bungee. Ah, okay, I think we already yeah. did that probably. Yes. So it, what it does is um and this happens to me all the time. You know, when you're playing games and your mouse uh, cord gets caught in the keyboard, the monitor, or some cables in the back. So what this really does is just helps prevent that from happening. So you have pretty much consistent moving from your mouse, and um, you know it doesn't get snaked on anything, and that doesn't affect your gameplay. So you know it's really simple, but honestly, once you use it, like I started using, I'm like, this is it works good, pretty, right? Yeah, I'm like, this is this is actually pretty good. I'm gonna use it. You know, I'm running out of desk space now. I've got all these little gadgets everywhere, but you know, it's 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 really good actually. And you can. You know, you can adjust it to however much slack you need. Some people they move like crazy like this, and some, some people like a really, really short distance. Yes. Yeah. So, um, and it's also it's it's a magnet, so you can just easily take it out, pop it in, and carry it with you to go somewhere else. So right on. It's really easy. And what we got doing on here? Combat Theron. Yes, this is actually our Theron. Our Theron is a mouse that has been released already. This one is our new battle edition, so it comes in the combat green. You want to fight about it? I don't want to fight about it. I'll, I'll fight, fight about, about it, it right game. now. In the game, I can. Yeah. All right, fine then. But I'm gonna. Say, you know, it's gonna be unfair. So you know, about. I went out and bought that knife that was on your desk. Oh, wow, I did. It's good. It's she a had a really cool knife on her desk, folks. I went out and bought it. It's from a video game, it's a video game knife. I've got a lot of video games like from all, all the MMOs, you know. <laughs> That's it, it's, it's, but it's cool. cool. Yeah, and get some more Lord of the Rings weapons. Exactly. Like this. But so, this one actually it, it's our Theron, but the difference is, um, we, we actually did an update to this one, but just this, this, um, particular, this particular mouse, okay, and this Theron is with the new sensor. We originally have it with the laser sensor, but this is with the infrared sensor. Ah, okay. So yeah, that's, that's what, what's what the big difference in it as far as performance goes? Honestly, I have to test this one out. Um, the then. infrared, you know what? I don't know. All right then, well let's move yes. on to keyboards. I don't know I yet. There's lots of these over here too Infrared, as well. infrared should be, should, should. Infrared, it's the things you can see through your dress. Yeah, you know what? Like I Superman. What it does I'm is, doing that right now. <laughs> But you don't have the mouse, you have to buy it. Oh. If you guys... I just used your mouse. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. Right. Now, <laughs> so you already know. What are you asking me? I know. <laughs> now, here are all the keyboards. Now, some of these I've seen familiar, and I see a lot of new colors out here. We've got red, we've got white, we've got lit up keys. Yes. So what's going on? So I even see Combat Edition. Combat. We're all about combat this year. You guys, like, you guys want to play? That's why I asked. Like, that's why I asked. Uh, I do. So... Arm wrestle? Pinky wrestle. All right, pinky wrestle. I don't know, man. I've been, I've been, I've been working on right, pinky wrestle. Um, but so this year we're really pushing for mechanical keyboards. Uh, we do have another line, which is our Challenger, you know. But nowadays, I think mechanical keyboard is really picking up in terms of popularity. Yeah, mechanical keyboards yeah, worth that. Definitely. definitely. Membrane's so. old. <laughs> but actually, mechanical's old but new. Yes. Bring back the old. It's bring like, back the old. We're gonna bring this new. back with disco, you know. Right on. I'm ready. <laughs> So, so basically our mechanical keyboards, we have our G1 and our G units. Um, right here we have our, the G units are the ones with the macro keys actually. And we already had two, these mechanical keyboards released, but we didn't have as many features. So this right. year what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring in more features and things kind of personalize a little bit and see what people like. Like what, like more programmable macros? Yeah, well, Different backlighting. Backlighting for one thing. We, we, awesome. we just started offering backlighting. Um, we also have new switches. Our default at the time, last year was black but now we're getting all sorts of different switches for example this G unit is with red switches so we're so really cherry MX red yes. under here yeah so we're really pushing an offer for more switches more switches for our gamers um, we actually have this one which is our new mecha G1 prime and that one's the designed. prime yes all right check this all out right. folks the prime it's got pink keys it's got pink keys that makes it prime personally 
designed by our Koreanists, SC2 or StarCraft 2 for any of those who don't know what SC2 is, our StarCraft now, 2 team in Korea. Now, do you guys have any plans in the future for maybe making an option where people could change their own colored keys? Like that would be a really great thing. You guys got any plans for that where people can just come and just change their own cup? You, you know, know what? Custom WASD that as well, that? is the type of feedback we are exactly looking for. We, we're trying a lot of different things, but what we want to do first is, hey, this is keyboard type, not dance type. He was trying to break out a song right now. We can dance after, you know. We can have a dance battle with these, these keyboards. Anyways, um, so... Um, what we're trying to do right now is kind of just offer small things at first, backlighting, different switches, and then from there, you know, different keycaps and things like that. Now, is this particular one backlit or no? No, this one's not backlit, but this one's um, brown switches, and that one, this, I feel like this is the most anticipated keyboard because, first of all, uh, our Prime team is very popular, people really love them, and... You know, StarCraft 2 is really big right now, so this keyboard really Yeah, my is son really plays StarCraft 2 daily, trying yeah. to get professional. See, he loves White Rock. I don't read Korean, so... You don't? So, yeah, I've, I've been joking, because this is made by our... Only on sale? <laughs> you have a sale? Does not say that. <laughs> um, beef bulgogi? You're just naming food. Oh, sorry. <laughs> But so, so as I said, this was designed by our StarCraft 2 Korean um, SC2 team. So they made this especially for how they play StarCraft 2. So right all the, the reason why these are different colors is because these are, you know, certain keys that they use a lot, the hotkeys that they use when they play. So I was joking that these extra buttons here, because because actually our G1, we have a longer space bar. Yes. This one's actually a little bit smaller and we have these two keys. It's GG and this one is escape, you know. This one's like, yeah, I'm happy about winning, and this one's like, no, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna rage quit. I'm not sure. No, there's no rage quit in, in, in Team Prime. <laughs> well, well, I'll see when it comes to across the review <laughs> samples. Around. Someone's gonna be saying, you don't know Korean at all. That's offensive. Well, hey. I'm Asian. I get away with that? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you can. I don't know. But you might be Chinese. So <laughs> Would you like to know the MSRP? Or? Yes. What yes. is the MSRP? The manufacturer suggested retail price. You'll just buy it anyway. Price. Yeah. Well, probably. Uh, well, this one is $149.99. Um, it's pretty, you know, we haven't had much of a, a change in prices from our original Mecha keyboards. We just, we want to add, you know, features, little features here and there until we get the right ones that everybody wants. And okay. then keep it at a price I that really is similar like to I really like the way this one looks. Yeah, this one has selective illuminated lighting. So, you know, you got your standard WASD for FPS gamers. Does the TT up here light up as well? Yes, it does. But we only have it plugged. For one of the plugs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're, but we're still, I like really like the way this one looks, though. Right now. Plugging keyboards into other keyboards and other keyboards right now. We don't so have these plugs. two are basically the same, just in different colors, right? Yes, but you know what? This one has all of it lit. So this was our illuminated series. So these are all lit for, for our white edition. Um, we just have these ones right now, but we are looking to offer more. You know, expandable. So, so okay. there's different. There's little different changes for people who, who want different things. You know, um, like this is. These are both black switches right now, but we're looking to integrate more red. And, and what's going to be the manufacturer to repel on these two bad boys? One forty nine ninety nine, and this one's one thirty nine ninety nine. Excellent. Right on. Not as much light, so not you, you save that 10 bucks. You're like, it's okay, I don't need all my keys to light up. So. Now, last but not least, on the same row, Kitty, I see you guys got some new stuff, and I also see a little box right here. Yes. So what is this little box? That's our Bahamut. It's our new external sound card. Um, it's USB. It's kind of like plug and play for people. There's a, it is, you know, you know what? If we can, I don't know if we can do it right now, but it makes a sound. But we have it plugged in somewhere. You know, and I would do the sound right now, but my voice is kind of dying from all the CES yelling. That's okay. Yelling. I just want to show the folks what goes, all kinds of new stuff you know, it is. I mean, yeah. So this this is actually going to come out very soon. It should be available by the end of this month. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Yeah, and you know this is our first external sound card, so um, we we really want to you know Push get it. into that market. I know I know there's not a lot out there, but you know it, it, in order to make a perfect product, you got to put put a product out there. Got to break those eggs like. to make an omelet. Yeah, bring it in, see what people like, and then just perfect it. So we we it's very basic for now, but we're hoping to get more into into experience sound cards. And, so and the MSRP is. Um, 40, sorry, 49.99. 49 99 yeah. Okay, now over here we see the shock. Yes. And so we got, we got, what all we got? We got the, how do you pronounce that? Bahamut. Bahamut? You have to say it like that. Bro. Bahamut? Yeah. The Isaris? Isaris dub is actually upgraded, or it, it's, yeah, it's upgraded version of our old Isaris dubs. All right. So the thing about that is, um, back to StarCraft 2. I know we always talk about StarCraft 2 a lot, but you know, it's really popular right now. Um, 
is that some gamers, a lot of pro gamers, you know, not all of them use the headsets. A lot of them prefer the in-ear earbuds. So we realized that there wasn't really a big market for that. So we're really trying to offer more options for gamers, for high quality sound for gamers who don't necessarily want the big bulky headsets. Maybe they want the little in earbuds. So this is our new Azuri Stub and um, it's pretty much the same as our last one, but it features the flat cable so it doesn't tangle. Yeah. Right on. Then we have the Shock. Yes, and the Shock is up here. These and are, the Chronos. These yes, are the last the two, right? The Chronos so is actually our newest headset. The Shock is, is an older headset, but we're just showcasing some different colors. Which so, one up here is the Chronos now? So the Chronos is down here. Okay. The, the two down here. So right here, folks, we have the Chronos. The Chronos. The Chronos. The Chronos. <laughs> Light up in beautiful colors. I'm not trying to say in a kind of like, uh, I feel like I'm doing a, a, a the, the announcer voice in the morning, you know, the weather. Talking Hello, about good morning and welcome to Thermal Take. Yes, but, but I've been losing my voice because we, we've all been yelling this whole week, speaking. So here we can see the microphone. It's all yes. lit up as well. It's got this cool futuristic sleek style. I want to associate to a couple things already, but I'm not going to say it because it seems pretty bad. <laughs> movies, certain movies and videos. Certain movies. Yes. I was going to say Tron and Mass Effect, you know? That's cool. But <laughs> Check them out. Hey, not everything is StarCraft 2. <laughs> No? Some things are trying. <laughs> you're, you're, you're kidding me, no. I thought it was. So, these things are pretty cool. Yeah. Now, these things are totally built for the gamer, right? Yes. And it's it's actually a bit more, it's more fashionable, I would say. It's pushing for more sleek, fashionable design than our other headsets. As you can see, we're now offering the LED side, um, the, ear, the ear cups, they light up when you plug them in. Just, you know, to show some bling bling. Or represent TTE Sports. And what's the green NVIDIA colored looking things over here? What are these things? <laughs> um, this is the green Shock 1 console. And it's our Shock One headset, but this one's actually multi-platform. You can use it for the Xbox, the PS3, and the PC. Oh, so for excellent. people who really like our Shock headset, but they also play on the Xbox or maybe the PS3 or both, this actually is a good alternative or upgrade for them, so that they can use the same headset for all of them. We do offer uh, the adapters and the cables for it, and we, we've you know we upgraded the quality. We've reinforced what people had notes on, so uh, we've really taken the notes of what people had for our Shock and Shock One and tried to reinforce that and just. Um, just just yeah. really fall with the enthusiast yeah. crowd yeah. once, yeah. right? So, so if, if you are... So you, you, you guys hear that. What they're basically trying to tell you is they've listened to you yes. and all your comments, and they've tried to design products around you guys, the end user, what you want. That's a really good thing. So bring all your feedback yes, to this definitely. video and let them know the things you guys think as well. You want a gaming glove that lights up, right? I have the gaming glove. Didn't well, the ones mine? I have, like, the, you know, the points, and it's, like, no longer a mouse. You could just go like this. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's 15 years from now. All right. All right, folks. So that's it. This is Kitty from Thermal Take, and you guys have seen some of the latest Thermal Take products here at CES 2013.